Hey there, I'm Richard Eisenweiss for GameZone.com and welcome to Big in Japan. Today we're going to take a look at Macross Trial Frontier for the PlayStation 3. However, as this is my second Macross review, large portions of this review will refer back to the last game in the series, Macross Ultimate Frontier. So, if you haven't already, I suggest you go back and watch that episode of Big in Japan before continuing on with this one. So let's dive right on in, shall we? While the Macross franchise undoubtedly has a solid fan base here in Japan, none of the titles had spread out of the otaku niche and into the mainstream since the original hit in the mid to late 80s. That is, of course, until Macross Frontier hit the airwaves in 2008. With good looking yet low cost animation and the best selling anime soundtrack since 1997, it's no surprise that Frontier was popular enough to spawn two successful video games as well. These games were so successful that when the first theatrical release, Macross Frontier The False Songstress, was released in October 2010, the new game Macross Trial Frontier was also included on the movie's Blu-ray disc in what they are calling a hybrid pack. It's immediately clear to anyone who's played either of the aforementioned Macross games, Ace Frontier and Ultimate Frontier respectively, that Trial Frontier is the same basic game with an HD coat of paint. Everything from sound effects and music to the controls have been lifted wholesale from Ultimate Frontier, which, given the quality of that game, is in no way a bad thing. Yet, compared to its fully fleshed out PSP brothers, Trial Frontier is little more than a skeleton. Gone are the AI wingmen, ground-based levels, and multiplayer options. Gone is the playing customization, and even the plot. And with only six levels compared to Ultimate Frontier's 100+, plus, to call Trial Frontier bare bones would be an understatement. The game does open up a bit upon completion when you unlock a hard mode for each mission, allowing you to at least choose your playing, pilot, and support character. But still, even with that, it's possible to master the game in less time than it takes to watch the movie, taking up the other half of the disc. But the single most mind-blowing thing about Trial Frontier? Let me just press start here and show you. Do you see it? No. Do you see how only one mission is available for play? That's right. This game does not have a save function. Auto or manual. I can't think of the last time I played a game that couldn't save. On the SNES maybe? The N64? I mean, this game has trophy support, but you can't save your game or even your score. On the positive side, both Mecha and Scenery take advantage of the PS3's processing power to create a beautiful experience. New vocal tracks from the movie have been added to the Ultimate Frontier soundtrack, and several new planes make their debut in this game. But the best thing about Trial Frontier? The price. Since the movie game Hybrid Pack costs no more than a normal Blu-ray, that basically means that you get the game for free. And when you compare it to other DVD extras games, well, it's clear which is the better product. But really, I think the most important thing to keep in mind while playing this game is its purpose. The PS3 had a much slower adoption rate here in Japan than the PSP, and the development costs for the PS3 are much, much higher as well. Trial Frontier is an easy and inexpensive way for Bandai Namco to test the waters and see how much interest there is for an HD Macross game on the scale of Ace Frontier and Ultimate Frontier. And, with over 120,000 hybrid packs sold in the first week alone, I think they have their answer. So what's my final word on Trial Frontier? Well, it's the best DVDs extra game I've ever played, but I wouldn't suggest spending the big bucks to import it. The movie does not include English subtitles, so you'd basically be paying $80 for an hour and a half game. Still, as with all things Macross, neither this movie nor game will ever see a release in the West. So I guess it's really up to you. Anyway, I'm Richard Eisenbeis for GameZone.com. Peace out. Three, two, one.